Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Inizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com, and today it's Filmmaking Friday. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. We're going to take a look on how to create some magic. Alright, so that looks really cool and it's actually really simple to do. All you need is a nicely saturated color shirt. If you have the choice, go for a nicely saturated blue or green because these colors aren't in your skin tones and in my case I used a yellow shirt which isn't ideal for this kind of shot actually but I didn't have anything else lying around and yellow is actually very close to orange and orange is inner skin tones so it's going to become difficult to actually go ahead and edit this because we're actually going to be editing our colors instead of actually going ahead and changing the color each time we pop a balloon so it's completely done within uh, Premiere Pro using just one video footage actually so it's so simple to do uh, let's take a look on how to do that if you can take a green or blue shirt but in this case we will be working with the yellow shirt which you can go ahead and download with the link in the description so you can follow this tutorial using the exact same footage as I am and just to let you know why the color is so important I actually filmed with the yellow shirt um, but when I was swapping from yellow to blue the blue color was actually bleeding into my skin tones because yellow is very close to orange like I said and orange is in your skin tones all right so without further ado let's open up Adobe Premiere Pro you can also do this in your editing software of choice just look it up it's really simple so if you follow the basic techniques of this video you'll be able to do it in any kind of video editing software all right so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro as you can see this is my video footage um, I start off with my yellow shirt and I pop a red balloon onto myself and we want to actually change our shirt color to red so what I will do is bring my video footage uh, into a new sequence by dragging uh, this video clip towards um, my new sequence button right here. We will zoom in a little bit on our timeline like this and then zoom in here so we see it a little bit better. And right here we actually see our popping sound effect in our scene so that means right here the balloon should actually pop. All right, so the sound is a little bit uh, late but right here it pops. So what we'll do is go to our razor cut tool and click right here on our time cursor. So now we have two video clips, one with the yellow shirt and then the next video clip should actually be the video clip with a red shirt. All right, so to get started, you need Lumetri Color open right here. So you can go to Window, Lumetri Color right here. And then you can go to the HSL Secondary tab, which we'll be using to change our color. So all you need to do is click on your Pipit tool right here and click on one of the midtones of the yellow. Then all we need to do is um, just click on the Color Grade check right here. And we want to increase our luminance level all the way because we want to start from the black until the highlights. So there we go, we have covered the black tones and the whites. Now we want to increase our saturation as well, maybe almost all the way. Something like this. Now we want to make sure on our hue that we're not actually into our orange tones because we are using a yellow color and our skin tones are orange. So try to stay away from that as much as possible but as you can see in the shadows of our yellow they're actually also kind of orange and that's why we also get some kind of bleeding into our skin tone so again if you have the option to shoot in a blue or green shirt it's going to work a lot better Anyway, if you have this problem, you can still solve this with some basic rotoscoping. So what we'll do is go to our effects controls right here and click on our Lumetri color and click on our pen tool right here. Click on the pen tool and then draw around our shirt like this. Also right here we have uh, the wooden stand of my lamp, which is kind of orange and also is bleeding our color. So we'll do something roughly like this. It's not perfect, but it will work. And we can do some final adjustments later. So now what we want to do is actually track it forward. If we're going to click on track selected mask forward, this button right here, uh, it will do it automatically. All right, so we have a little mistake right here. So what we'll do is find where this mistake is starting right over here. We'll go frame by frame and move this up a little bit. 
give it some room and track again from that point. And there we go, so this mask should be as good as possible. Then we want to fine tune it just a little bit more to make sure that we are not getting any kind of orange tones. So what we can do is bring this one in a little bit, like this, and there we go. And the rest should work. So let's do a quick preview, uncheck the color gray, and all we need to go is, uh, all we need to do now is go to the correction tab right here within our HLS secondary. So currently we have this kind of view. What we wanna do is click on this icon, which will bring up three uh, color palettes, one for the shadows, one for the midtones, and one for the highlights. The first thing that I like to do is actually bring these down because actually red is going to be darker than the kind of yellow we have in our scene. So that way we get this kind of brown uh, kind of uh, shirt. And then we want to bring our shadows towards our red tones, the mid tones also towards our met, uh, red tones, and then also the highlights. So play around with them, see what works, what doesn't work. Before we continue this video, I would like to present you our website designed for filmmakers and video editors to improve their workflow. We offer templates, presets, high quality pre-made packs, soundscapes, essential graphics and much more. If you don't have time to create something of your own or you just want to speed up your workflow, definitely check out our website with the link in the description below. And there we go, I think this looks pretty close to red. We can also lower our saturation just a little bit and now we have a nice red shirt. Bring it in just a little bit more and there we go, perfect. All right, so let's do a preview. It looks pretty cool. So next what we can do is add an adjustment layer with a final color grade on top of it to make it blend in a little bit better. So what we'll do is bring our adjustment layer on top of our video and cut it off at the end of the entire video and click on the adjustment layer, go again to the Lumetri color, go to the creative tab in this case and we'll go and import a LUT color. I'm going to be using Summer Vibe, which is a loop you can get on our website uh, right here. And I'm going to bring down the intensity like this. Then I'll go to the vignette and maybe lower the vignette just a little bit. So we have a nice blended color and it looks a little bit better in general. Next, what you can do is bring uh, these two clips together. So select the adjustment layer, the two clips, right click and go for nest sequence. Then we're going to uh, rename this to colored shirt. Click OK. Now what I want to do is add a preset, go to the presets and I'm going to be using TC camera shake preset. This is not necessary, what you can do as well is just film yourself on a tripod and do whatever you need and have the result, it's actually already finished. All I just like to do is add a little bit more of an organic feel, a little bit more realism and that's why I like to add a camera shake to it. So. TC camera medium shake is one of our presets that you can also get on our website. I will put all the links in the description below, but if you're going to drag this onto your nested sequence and increase the scale to 110 and you're going to play that, you're going to get some kind of camera movement and that way it's going to look like someone is actually filming you and it's not going to look like a fake visual effect shot because on a moving shot it's going to sell the effect a little bit more maybe for a heart shake in this case. This looks even better. All right, so this is a nice organic shot. This is basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more and also check out our website. We have a bunch of things to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists and it also helps to support the channel. So apart from that, I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.